Hello everyone. Today we are here to discuss the previous year's questions from UPSC prelims examination. And as you know, the prelims season is coming, and in a few days you will also start preparing for the prelims with your hundred percent efficiency. So for that, you must first understand what are the uh, previous year's papers of the UPSC so that you get an idea. The UPSC makes questions on what lines. Although it is very difficult to predict any question, but still you must uh, at least appreciate the types of questions that UPSC is asking. So fr from that perspective, we will discuss some of the questions of the previous years. We will try to give you the answer. Plus, also I will try to give you some additional concepts so that uh, you can relate to uh, what type of conceptual clarity is needed. Plus, uh, in some of the questions, uh, still they are in the current affairs. Uh, due to some or the other recent news, so I will tell you the news also. So without wasting time, let's jump into the question and see what type of questions are there. Now again, the question of multi-drug resistant microbial pathogen. So sometimes uh, when we misuse the antibiotics, okay, for example, simple case. Suppose doctor has prescribed the antibiotics for five days, but you feel better after three days of antibiotics. Then you don't take the next two days. Then you don't take medicines for the next two days. Now what will happen? In the first three days, some of the bacteria which were easier to kill, they would have died, and then you started feeling better. But some bacteria were still left. If you would have continued with the entire course of antibiotics, then those remaining bacteria would also have died. But because you did not take antibiotics for the last two days, these remaining bacteria will will survive. In and they will give birth to next generation, and in the future, all bacteria will be of such type, which will not be killed in the initial days of antibiotics. So slowly, slowly, the bacteria is evolving, and this is the development of antibiotic resistance. Now there are various reasons. Is me genetics का role नहीं है, and uh, incorrect doses of antibiotics. This is true. Uh, using antibiotics in farming. Sometimes people give lot of antibiotics to uh, cattle, uh, poultry, etc. So this is also this also leads to the creation of antibiotic resistant bacteria in these animals. And chronic diseases is का is का नहीं है तो this में two and three are the correct options. Two and three are the correct options. इस में chronic diseases से कोई relation नहीं है, ठीक है? अब इट इज बेसिकली आस्किंग अबाउट द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग अबाउट द हेपेटाइटिस बी वायरस तो हेपेटाइटिस बी वायरस इज ट्रांसमिटेड मच लाइक एच आई वी दिस इज ट्रू इट कैन बी ट्रांसमिटेड थ्रू ब्लड इट कैन बी ट्रांसमिटेड थ्रू सेक्शुअल कॉन्टैक्ट इट कैन बी ट्रांसफर थ्रू अनप्रोटेक्टेड सेक्स दिस इज नॉट करेक्ट हेपेटाइटिस बी हैज अ वैक्सीन एंड इनफैक्ट यूनिवर्सल इम्यूनाइजेशन प्रोग्राम इंक्लूड्स हेपेटाइटिस बी वैक्सीन so therefore again uh, i just say uh, to you once again just uh, look out for the diseases covered in the universal immunization program number of people infected with hepatitis b and c are many times than those infected with hiv this is true and uh, ha, this is also true so the question is which is not correct so b is not correct okay this is also true ठीक है दिस इज द शॉर्ट आंसर कि बी इज द नॉट करेक्ट वन नाउ लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट हेपेटाइटिस हेपेटाइटिस इज अ इज अ वायरल डिजीज इट इज कॉज्ड बाय अ वायरस एंड देयर आर डिफरेंट वर्जन्स ऑफ दिस वायरस ए बी सी डी एंड ई hepatitis is a disease caused by uh, a virus but these viruses have different uh, different variations a b c d e in this we have vaccines against all of them theek hai to agar hum vaccine ki baat karte hain to we have vaccine against a b but we don't have against c we have against d and e the reason we don't have vaccine against c is that jo c hai c it is a rna virus it is a rna virus so it basically uh, can change or mutate very fast and therefore if we want to develop a vaccine we must be able to uh, we must be able to um, uh, neutralize all different versions of hepatitis c and therefore rna viruses uh, can mutate very fast so it can lead to creation of more and more viruses uh, more it can lead to the newer and newer versions of this virus so therefore we don't have vaccines against hepatitis c But we have against hepatitis A, B, C, A, B, and D, E. 
uh, all these hepatitis viruses they infect the liver these basically they are they cause the liver infection and in ultimate cases they can call liver cirrhosis but hardening of the cells of the livers now in uh, if we consider the spreading of these viruses then uh, hepatitis a virus is is spread by contaminated it is spread by contaminated food and water theek hai hepatitis a theek hai we are talking about a only we are talking about a theek hai and hepatitis e also is basically because of food and water contaminated food and water and hepatitis b c b c d these these three they uh, spread through body fluids they spread through body fluids for example they can spread through blood they can spread through syringe suppose uh, people are doing drugs to uh, using injections to from one person to another person they can spread through the use of unsanitized needles they can spread through unprotected sex they can spread through mother from mother to child through the blood so that they, they spread by body fluids uh, and these uh, they are similar matlab they spread similarly to hiv theek hai so this is the concept regarding hepatitis virus theek hai so this question is done ha ab now zika virus is transmitted by the same mosquito as dengue this is correct sexual transmission of zika virus is possible this is correct so both the statements are true theek hai to again the question of zika virus has come and again this is related to aedes aegypti mosquito and the wolbachia was also related to aedes aegypti mosquito in fact aedes aegypti mosquito is considered to be one of the dangerous mosquitoes it is the one which spreads dengue chikungunya zika virus and yellow fever ठीक है ऑल दीज फोर डिजीज आर स्प्रेड बाय द सेम मॉस्किटो एंड फॉर योर इन्फॉर्मेशन ओनली द फीमेल मॉस्किटो स्प्रेड्स द डिजीज बिकॉज फीमेल मॉस्किटो ओनली द फीमेल मॉस्किटो बाइट्स इट नीड्स ब्लड फॉर गिविंग एग्स एंड देयर फॉर इट बेसिकली इट नीड्स प्रोटीन्स ठीक है एंड ब्लड कंटेन्स लॉट ऑफ प्रोटीन्स सो इट बाइट्स पीपल टेक्स प्रोटीन्स फ्रॉम देयर ब्लड एंड देयर फॉर गिवस एग्स मेल मॉस्किटो ऑन द अदर हैंड डो नॉट नीड सो मच प्रोटीन दे कैन सर्वाइव ऑन देयर नॉर्मल डाइट विच इज विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ फ्रूट जूसेस फ्रूट नेक्टर्स फ्लावर नेक्टर्स एक्सेट्रा ठीक है तो जीका इज ट्रांसमिटेड बाय द सेम मॉस्किटो एडीज एजिप्टी एंड जीका कैन ऑल्सो भी ट्रांसमिटेड सेक्शुअली ठीक है दिस इज बेसिकली द फैक्ट अबाउट जीका आई कंक्लूड माई डिस्कशन थैंक यू एवरी वन